Thanks. You know, I don't want to go too long-winded, but I want to ask you about the tactical level a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because I do think that, frankly, you know, like, people that don't differentiate with their, you know, conversion button by color are, are maybe losing out. I mean, but tell me if I'm wrong. Is this, is this like, something that people should focus on? Like, you know, is the it, colors yeah. they use and should they invest in optimizely and test the red button versus the blue button? Yeah, so this is a great, a great question. Again, something that there's, there's, there's books entirely books on. I think that the point I'll make about that is, does button color matter? Yes. I mean, we can measure that and, and test. Do but some stats. What matters more is the context that that button lives in. And so, so for example, a red versus a green button, I, I wouldn't go looking for the answer of whether. At a, at a removed from context level, you should be using red or green. I'm sure there's some best like practices. absolute. Absolute, red absolute is better. In terms, red is the best color. Red, red not, best color. Not true. Forget about it. Hey, these are not, there is no There is no capital T truth there. That what it is is it's about context, right? If your whole branding is around um, these sort of blue and grays and, and so forth, then you want your your buttons to in, in, yeah, to flow from that, right? And then, and then create contrast against that. So having a red button might be really alarming and send a, send a very different message than if your branding is like oranges and reds and these warm colors, right? And it's, it's, it's great. The context matters, right? And, okay. Um, so the other thing is about testing and optimizing. So, so um, test and optimization is very important for your overall strategy. Once you have the funnel sort of set up. And I, I mean, we talk a lot about traffic, but you gotta have a little bit of traffic. If you're going to optimize yes. for 500 uniques a month, it's like very <laughs> And it'll take forever for you to learn anything significant anyway, uh, in terms of st st statistical significance on your test. Yeah. So you need to set, so even if, even if you have low traffic, you, you're you probably, first of all, better off to spend your time figuring, figuring out how to get, get more, more traffic. traffic. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, and, and but but if you are going to set up A-B tests, you, you want to be taking, um, you want to be, be make sh making sure you're choosing very, very poignant, targeted things, and not and not tiny little elements. Yeah, so make it relevant. Yeah. Yeah, and and the, the, what people do with test and optimization and A/B testing or multivariate testing is you get you can get stuck in local minima. And so what I mean I mean by that is if you think about stocks, they go up and down. If you look at a stock graph, right? Yeah. And optimization, by the nature of its word, is is about finding sort of the peak within a within a very short distance uh, along that ah, I see it's like dynamic because yes if you're growing and have all these ad campaigns going you bring these new audiences in what right. was optimized for that earlier audience is maybe like well there's that it's I guess it's what 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 in my analogy is a little bit maybe a little strange but the the local minima that you can get stuck in is if you're looking for or the local maxima by local I mean within a small range of 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 of, of observation uh, uh, or optional change that you could introduce to the site right right you're only testing because you're a b testing a button call. oh i see what so, you're saying so the range of variance that you're testing is very very small and so the uh, the, the where you're looking for a peak only within that but really if your peak, peak is way out here way up high you're 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 never going to find it you can't optimize your way to get over that you can't time. you can't red blue red blue button it to you're the not ultimate red blue, maximum that's right you're not going to red blue button your way to being tesla yeah, you know, totally, you're, totally. you're not going to do that. You have yeah. to. So um, there's a get, bigger picture, the right. context you mentioned at yes. the beginning. Yes, and so you have to understand the overall, the gestalt, the forest, before you get down to A-B testing the leaves on the tree. So you basically think that early on, there's bigger wins in a lot of cases than A-B testing with Optimizely or, or whatever. Not to say that Optimizely is not important, right. but I Don't mean. Don't get stuck on that. Uh, get, yeah. get stuck on, and, and I guess one of the last points is, don't reinvent the wheel if it's not your core differentiator or value problem. Okay. So if there are a lot, I, I guarantee that it, whatever you're selling or building is probably a, has a, has a, an akin out there in the wild that somebody else has been successful in selling and marketing and building a site around something related. And so and people have an idea in their mind of what this is kind of supposed to be like. Yes, and so go out and do a competitive evaluation, even if it's not a direct competitor. So if it, so, let's say if I'm selling a new, um, I want to sell tennis shoes, I can go look at a site that sells tennis rackets. It's fine. or uh, Because there, there's enough relationship there in what we're doing. Um, and I want, and, and look at look across them, find the best of a uh, best of breed, put your persona hats on. So say, I already know I've got Joe, Steve, and Mary, and they are these different types of markets. Look at those competitor sites and just don't steal the design characteristics, but, but the overall flow and their button strategies and their form fields and, and, and their, their, their cart path and so forth. 
don't reinvent those if that's not your core product differentiator. Don't spend your time trying to figure out the best way to a brand new way to reinvent buttons. Okay, so you're saying if, if your whole product is not about buttons. So you're saying basically, so we talked a little bit about you know the big picture, the context versus the A/B testing. You're saying know your core thing. This is what makes me different than the rest of the world, yes. and invest in that. Yes. And look for the look for those bigger pops of differentiation and growth from the core competencies rather than these things that you're maybe not the best at. That's right. And don't yeah, you're not going to you're not going to win um, by uh, I love that. I think it's a great idea because you know honestly, you know, you talk to like somebody like well, actually, I've never talked to Eric Schmidt. I would love to talk to Eric Schmidt. <laughs> but uh but I read I read the Google, you know, how Google works book and you know, he talks a lot about how like in in today's world, there's so many good technologies that already exist that you might as well like white label some of this shit. Yes. And so it's like if you're not a web design company and you know, in the case of Easel, like we're educators, you know, we make cool right. videos that people like to watch, we white label our, you know, infrastructure. Yep. Because somebody who's better at white, you know, so we could send, spend all day trying to tweak this stuff, but it's uh, like- but Don't do that. Yeah, go <laughs> for the- your time. Make better yeah. educational content or courses that people care about or That's whatever. Right. That's you know? your core differentiator. That's what makes you great. And you should be focusing on that, not on not on the infrastructure platform and optimizing there. Now, granted, if you grow your business into a 100,000 person company, right, and you've then maybe 100,000 uniques that, a month, right? and yeah. then you know a 2% differentiation right. on the button makes a big difference. Makes a big difference. But other than that, you should just be going and looking flatly, what, who's been successful at doing this? What are the sort of core principles that they're using? Look across the landscape, take the best of breed, and apply.